immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Not scream. This Huron territory. Let go of me! You heathen! Let go! You better listen to the lady, Chingachgook. <laughs> and you do well to listen to him. This forest's not safe for a girl alone. We're headed for the settlement if you'd like to. You'll never take me back. Never. Well, it sounds like you're running away from the devil himself. You ought to know. You're getting a bounty from Stark. He sent you after me, didn't he? We're not after any bounty. We don't even know anyone named Stark. We're new to this territory. Then I'll be thanking you for your concern, gentlemen. And I'll be on my way. How far do you figure she'll get before she runs into the Hurons? Oh, maybe to the next trail. Soon be slaves in Huron teepee. I don't know, though. They sure like those long-haired scalps. Well, we tried to warn her. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Wait! You can't leave me here alone. Well, I thought that's what you wanted. No. I only want to get away from Stark and the terrible farm of his. Look. Beat me, he does. And all because I was tricked into being a bond servant. Came from Ireland, I did. Because I thought this was a free country. Well, it is. But if you're a bond servant to this Stark, maybe you should go back to him. I was tricked, I tell you. I signed a paper for passage from the old country, not knowing what it was. Run away, not good. No, they'll just keep after you till they catch you. There is justice in this land that may be a little slow, but it usually wins out. If you're speaking the truth, there are people here who will help get you free. And if they don't, I'll be a slave for seven years. If I lost it. Well, you won't last more than about seven hours out here. If you go back, I'll see that your story's heard by the right people. You seem a man of your word. What with the famine, and me father dying. And seeing the fine ships sailing from Cobe for, for the new world. I said to myself, Bridget Mullaney, You've got to, you've got to find passage, and a new life, and maybe a fine husband. Did you get enough to eat, Bridget? <sighs> Another mouthful, and the robes of the Lord Mayor of Dublin himself would fit me. White man, come. <laughs> So, you got help this time to steal away. Come here. It's no use looking at him. If he tries to help you again, I'll be in my rights blowing his head off. If you're Mr. Stark, we were just about to head for your farm. Likely. After stealing my servant? If you're a good enough woodsman to find us here, you can backtrack the trail and see where we stopped her. So you're off to the bounty after all. My apologies. But seeing you all so friendly, that uh, musket, a man could get hurt looking into one of those. You wildcat. Still not trained, are you? You'll have to kill me first. And you, scaring me with tales of Huron. All for ten shillings a Judas coin. She says she's a free woman, was tricked into bondage. They all say that. Eager enough to bondage themselves for a free trip here, then kick like a mule against serving their time. I wouldn't want to turn her over to the wrong man. Do you mind if we go on to the farm with you and take a look at the contract? Don't have to. Don't try running, or I'll really make you regret it. With runaway bond servants, a man has to be ready to show he's bought them. A hundred pounds, that's pretty steep. Help short. Bond servants are in great demand. 
Is that your mark, Bridget? Yes. But I told you. He knows what you told him. Satisfied? The law says you're entitled to a bounty for catching a runaway. I keep my cash at the farm. The bounty will keep. When fawn trapped by wolf, eyes cry out for help. Slavery in a land as wide and free. The Commissioner General will want to hear about this. A request from the Commissioner General is just like a royal command. I'll do anything I can for you, Hawkeye. Well, to begin, Sheriff, can you give me the names of anybody around here who has bond servants? Well, I'd be glad to if I thought it would do you any good. But they'll just wave their contracts under your nose, and without proof they're not legal, it's their word against ragtag, penniless outlanders. Well, that's why I'm here, Sheriff, because I've believed one of those penniless outlanders. Mr. Travers. Oh, Sheriff, I didn't know you were busy. I'll come back later. Never too busy to see you, Jonathan. Besides, I want you to meet someone from the Commissioner General. Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook. Well, gentlemen, a pleasure. He feels the same way we do about bonded servants, Hawkeye. Oh, I'm opposed to slavery of any kind. Then I don't imagine it's any of your ships they're coming over on. The sheriff here can vouch for my policy in that respect. He wouldn't tolerate it. Do you have any idea of how they're getting here? Well, I've made inquiries from several ship's captains, but uh, unfortunately, the mere mention of bonded servants, they become a pretty close-mouthed lot. No closer mouth than the settlers who are buying them. I tell you, Hawkeye, to try and find out who's behind all this is like chasing a will-o'-the-wisp. Well, it seems to me that somebody around here could be persuaded to talk. Somebody almost did, a settler named Jenkins. Yeah, it's a tragic case that... Several people are under the impression he was murdered by the Indians. We know different. He wasn't quite dead when James and I found him. He said just two words, bondage men. Do either of you gentlemen know a farmer around here named Stark? Oh, yes, he lives about eight miles west of here. Well, I'm much obliged to you for your help. Oh, uh, Hawkeye, if there's anything I can do, uh, ship's records, you know, things like that, well, I'm at your service. Thank you. Will of the wisp, like feather in wind, fly many ways, leave no trail. My brother know where to begin, Hunt. Well, there's only one place that we can begin. That's by collecting the bounty we got coming to us. Miss Bridget. Come for your 30 pieces of silver, I suppose. I don't need help from the likes of you. Leave me be. I've got to play along with Stark, so he'll think I've just come for the bounty. Chop some more wood or something. I've chopped enough. Well, just in case Stark is watching, so he'll think I'm just passing the time of day with you. I want you to think and think hard. Try to remember something that will lead us to the man who sold you to Stark. Get away. You'll only get me another beaten. There won't be any more of that if you'll just believe I'm trying to help you. Okay. Seems to me you're pretty uppity just for a servant girl. I suppose you came for the bounty. Yeah, that's right. Ten shillings. And now, if you don't mind, there's work needs doing. And idlers will only be in our way. Ten shillings isn't much for helping you save a hundred pound investment. That's not much bounty, Stark. Bounties are set by law. Laws can be changed or broken. Not by me. Good day, gentlemen. Sinners, your day of judgment is coming. Philistines, repent. Down on your knees and beg forgiveness, ye carouses in Sodom and Gomorrah. Go and squander your evil money in Satan's temple. Oh, ma'am. We don't rightly know just what you're talking about. I saw you taking my brother's money. So you can swill like swine in the trading post. Philistines, repent! Me, Mohican. The things they're saying about Matt, they're not true. Nobody knows better than I. I'm his sister. 
Not even Naomi. Naomi? Don't pretend. I saw you talking to her. I saw you. You mean Bridget? Their names are all in here. Ruth and Sarah and Esther. They came to me by sea. But you'll never find them. Nat and I will see to that, you men of evil. Nat's a good man, a God-fearing man. You tell them that at Satan's temple. Agatha! I must go now. Nat doesn't like me talking to strangers. Squaw talk with tongue of spirit. Well, I don't know what kind of tongue she talks with, but now we know where we can spend this money. Satan's temple. <laughs> self be true, is the way my dear mother used to put it. And I've practiced her teachings religiously ever since. The powder will be 15 shillings. You favor anything else, gents? If your appetites need sharpening, I'm featuring a rare brand of sugar-cured bacon. You got any calico? Only the finest. Now, what in tarnation would a man of the woods be wanting with a lady's fabric? It's for my bond servant. Well, I... Uh... I suppose you thought you knew everyone in these parts who owned such a luxury. Of course not, sir. A body can't know everyone. How many yards? I thought I'd leave that up to you. Well, I'd have to know her girth and height. Uh, how'd I know that? I haven't bought her yet. What you mean is, you've got no immediate need for calico. There's 30 immediate pounds in that pouch for anyone who helps me buy a bond servant for my farm. I... I might be able to arrange it. When? If you can meet me here later, tonight, I'm sure I can fill your calico order. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And ah! It's a window! Let him be in! Hey, Lou, what are you doing here? The girl might have recognized you. We have meeting. Come. This time of night? I do no such thing. You come. Why can't it wait till morning? Pelu no ask why. You come. Wait for me in the barn. Fetch my hat, girl. That Indian, he's... He's what? I, I thought I'd seen him before. But I guess I'm wrong. Take your seat, brother. I haven't finished reading from the book. Agatha, I have to go out. You mustn't leave this house. Satan's out there in the night. I saw him. That was only an Indian friend of mine. Now, don't you worry. Nothing's going to happen to me. And uh, go on reading. It'll comfort you while I'm gone. I know. You're going to see that my girls are safe. See that Agatha gets a cup of hot tea before she goes to bed. Not like sign. Even wind whisper. Try the door. Good evening. We'd like to talk to Mr. Stark. 
He's out. Well, then we'll speak to his sister. Take a look around. Search the barn. Visitors, how pleasant. Get some more tea, Naomi, please. Well, never mind that, ma'am. All we want's a few words. I knew you were a God-fearing man, not like those people of Satan's temple. Well, that's what I wanted to speak to your brother about. A man was murdered tonight at the trading post. Matt never goes there. It's God's hand that struck down the blasphemer. Yes, ma'am. But we've got to protect the innocent. You and your brother and Naomi here and your girls. You want to make sure that they're all safe, don't you, Miss Agatha? Don't you call me Naomi. Me given name's Bridget. And leave her be. Don't you see how she is? Oh, young lady, Hawkeye's only doing his duty. How long ago did your brother go out? Matt's a good man. I told him my girls would be in danger, and he went to see that they would be safe. He's been gone all evening. You sure? That Indian that took me off the boat come for him. These eyes of mine will never forget him. Terrible scar on his face. The way he looked at me. Like death. Indian? Boat? We're getting someplace, Hawkeye. Miss Agatha, your girls are in danger. Oh, no. Matt will protect them. Well, maybe you and me better make sure. Where are they? In the Lord's keeping. Yes, ma'am, I know. It's awful easy to feel forsaken. If you could be there with them, you could read to them out of the good book. That would be wonderful. Oh, but I can't. Matt wouldn't like it. But when he comes home, we'll all go together. I can't understand why Matt didn't come home last night. Well, he's probably guarding your girls, ma'am. Oh, yes, he would. Remember, you swore on the book to take my girls out of Babylon and restore them to me. I'm sure they'll come to no harm, ma'am. We will take them out of the hands of the wicked, and they'll be rejoicing. Keep marking the trail. Travers ought to be along with the sheriff soon. I've done wrong things in my life, but... Never bushwhacking. Hawkeye, no too much. Then why don't we face him like men? I don't take to killing in cold blood. Too late to start getting squeamish now, isn't it, Stark? My bargain with you didn't include murder. You've taken your share of the profit, now you'll do as you're told. Evil men, that's what we are. Just like Agatha says. If it wasn't for that dim-witted sister of yours, this violence wouldn't be necessary. There's no harm to come to her. I gave you my word. Now, you better get into position. They'll be coming soon. His sister's guiding Hawkeye. He might get a chance to get in an extra shot. Knife better. Listen. Hear nothing. That's what bothers me. No birds, no animals, nothing. How much farther is it? The cabin's just past the next ravine. Come, we must hurry. Hurry too fast. Put foot in quicksands of death. We'll wait here. Travers and the sheriff shouldn't be far behind. Backtrack and tell them to hurry. We're wasting our time. They've probably gone back to the settlement. They'll be along. Why would Agatha want to lead anybody here? From the day she saw me take those bonded girls away from the barn and followed me, she's kept it to herself. Just like a child, she'll say anything. Ah, oh, stop worrying. After today, our little enterprise will continue to prosper. Nobody on trail. Far back as far. Oh, we can't wait any longer. We're ready, ma'am. We're ready to go.
can't do it. Go. Get back! Get back! Take cover! It's an ambush! Come back! Aim the Hawkeye! Get back, ma'am. We're open targets here. for you, Travers, because I'm going to take you in. <laughs> Never knew you had a sense of humor. I underestimated you, Hawkeye. You're overlooking my writ of habeas corpus. This one's powerful enough to clear me even of murder. Are you admitting you killed Simmons? Never could stand greed and stupidity. As for you, dead man can't testify against me. Forgive me, Agatha. As the Lord will. I did evil. I didn't realize the misery. We must all pay for our sins. Agatha. Yes, ma'am? Bridget should be free. Like everyone else. in the judgment seat. The book will help him. I'll take you to the girls now. It's a pretty color, miss. Not as fair as you. I come to buy calico, not compliments. Now, miss, the townspeople gave me money to buy your clothes, but they didn't say I had to wear them. <laughs> Sheriff, you're elected. Hawkeye, forgive me for ever doubting you. Only, but when I met you, I never dreamed I'd... Miss Bridget, in this land, never doubt your dreams because they can come true. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>